Tell me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one. How can you post that? I would have proud the city is mine. You cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Me, Joe Black. Run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. What I'm saying, the top three, I'm not number one. How can you post that? Uh, I would have proud the city is mine. You cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Me, Joe Black. What I'm saying, people saying what's already been said. Predictions, I don't listen. It's already in my head. No funny. Your most hungry place, I was past that in 28. Underground tapes, as my ass cap and publisher states. As we slide in the G-Ride, I've been getting criticized. It's keeping me energized. Create with a business mind, I'm from where killers reside. A wild hood, only new goons since my childhood. Say anything in their raps, cause it sound good. Don't even mean what they say, horrible outlook. Y'all ain't really about this house. Y'all was in the house with it. We don't respect fake jewelry and silly outfits. Window down, blowing out. Great tits, New York's J Prince on Houston Street. I caught the bounce before my even bounced the beat. I took the hard way in the man, it's the route for me. Uh, run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I would have crowned the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Meet Joe Black. Run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I would have crowned the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Meet Joe Black, meet Joe Black. My God, oh God, this is sun and God level. The sun, the sky, you can see the vibe. We ride the high, always on a high level. So open up your eyes, better. Why these down me? You can join the journey, you is worthy. Just allow me, no. Kicking down your door. Bloodsuckers, I see this industry is filled with sheep. People that pretend to be something that they will never be. Mmm, oh my. I just need some little old peace of mind. The sons, the kings, the girls, the guys. The moon, the light, the fools, the facts. My God, oh God, this is sun and God level. The sun, the sky, you can see the vibe. We ride the high, always on a high level. So open up your eyes, baby. I can never be controlled. Let them know. 500 helicopters driving me guns low. But they want you just to envy. Let them see. I'm the first to say it. Now it's time you just believe it. I got too many fakes. Made lots of foes. These people cold. Talk down your dreams because they know they can't come close. Don't shake no hands. Don't steal your friends. I walk alone. I see both sides of all the titles you need to grow. How you lost your mind? But I ain't like the others no more. God, I'm learning lessons as I go. You're only wasting time. Historic Lambeau Field, fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season and we've got a good one in store between the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. Two teams that have met at least twice a year since 1932. The Lions and Packers underway from Lambeau. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
Now this defense for the Lions, they put together a strong effort last week in the win over Chicago. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. run got nine that leaves him with second and a yard up the middle they go it's green and he stopped after a gain of one not enough still a yard to go on third down and this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Now just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. playoff as he'll look to throw he finds his target it's Schultz and he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one the Packers hit seven and nine now on the year and they were winners their last time out so they'll be looking to make it two in a row and so much about football partner comes down to mindset being in the right frame of mind and the best way to get in that good frame of mind winning so they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. It's green, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now these two teams faced off earlier in the year, right around midseason, back in week nine. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. one down to the 28 and that's all just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine 
Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. 19 tight. 19 tight. Rip right. Rip right. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check him. Check him. Rip right. Check him. Check him. Check him. Here's Farb to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Green. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Josh Lambeau for the field goal try. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. And Lambeau will put this one through, and the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they have three first downs and three points. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And some room to run now. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. Right back to Sanders on first down. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And all the way down to the 10-yard line. 65 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Terrific run from one of the fastest backs in the game today. A guy who keeps defensive coordinators up at night, no doubt. Remember when we were meeting with the D coordinator before the game and all he talked about was run fits, making sure our guys were in the right place so there were no creases? They missed their fits, didn't they? Yeah, there was no fit there. The only fit was at the end when he threw his headset down. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Lions have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Three. 
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team scouting, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a give right side, Breen. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, kind of just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Favre on second down. Looking for Jones and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Arter Davis. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners they end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. After the interception, here's Stafford. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. First down, Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Packers are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away and could cost them a ball game? About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Now. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. 47 yards on the ground for him so far. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Hey, 
They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Throwing is far. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. On the return is Sims. A nice punt, but a good run back as well of 13 yards. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. First and ten, it's Sanders. And he's got Rome. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. That's rushing touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And that run going to put him over 100 yards now for the ball game as well. Yeah, he's really had his way so far, and that's just more of the same right here. All he needs, just a little crease, and off he goes. Extra point try now for Patterson. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. offense ready to get their next drive underway it's been very much a slow start for them three drives and just the three points cd yeah if you're into the points per drive ratio that answer is one and that's not going to get it done in a ball game they've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones not have the balls go through goal posts yeah things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line a lot of bodies not much space i think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run the last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll keep it on the ground. It's green. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The Packers on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. On first down, far. Throw left side, complete. That's green. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Check 
They'll try the left side. Green. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down, Favre. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. In motion comes the tight end left. Favre. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 33. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Up the middle they go. It's green. And room there to work it inside the 25. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now far. That's going to be caught. And it's a Packers touchdown. Devontae Adams. His 14th touchdown now of the year. And the Packers have got it back to within a score. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed it in the huddle. Hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we've put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. the touchdown he'll kick this one away here's Sims now from his end zone and not a great return here he'll make it back only to the 10 yard line anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not sometimes that indecision can really cost you that may have been what happened on that play The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Steps away to his left. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown. 
from Detroit. Jamison Williams. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. set to get this drive started the Green Bay offense at the line and with him down two scores you wonder if they might try and put something together even if it's just to get into field goal range oh he's got some. there he goes left side the 30 and he's going to step out of bounds all the way down at the 20 a big play there just before halftime 55 yards they're good at running the screen sometimes it's probably taken for granted though you need a good deal of deception in there don't you you certainly do and you know what else you need the people who aren't involved in the deception to make sure they hold their blocks and someone doesn't flash too quickly in the face of the quarterback So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. to throw his far out route he finds his man it's Jones now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts so as they take it over we step aside well offensively that's the mismatch that you want you want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield out in some open space but linebackers nowadays they run like backs and they take a lot of pride in covering what a nice play he made there in the open field Six man. Check. On third down, here's Jones. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout coming here defensively. As on fourth down, may as well make him punt it. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Lambeau is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So, still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The final shot before the break, Stafford. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage, and he will be brought down on 
and what will be the final play of this first half. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Here's Sims now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be lice. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Prime example there of how his height can be an advantage. It makes it tough on some of these smaller defensive backs. When they try and go through that type of a receiver to get the football, oftentimes that big body, that frame will block them away. And whether the receiver has to elevate or extend, now he has a clear path to the football with the defender usually on his back. Play action, Stafford. He's going to go up top again. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. So, CD, this defense, they know that they have to be at their very best when they're taking on a team here that's in the midst of a winning streak that's now stretched over multiple months. Not weeks, months. I think the challenge they put upon themselves is we want to be the guys to end that streak. And what's working in their favor the winning streak on the other side. Sometimes that carries a burden with it because they feel like they have to... And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams, 30 yards. And the Lions come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge at opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. to throw now on second and ten he finds his man complete it's Schultz and he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight that coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man that's good recognition there and how about what he did after the catch yeah hit your tight end let him get some rack yeah when he when he gets moving not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him do they and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 66 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. 
The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Jones. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. 34 is the mark. 34 is the mark. He's cutting. Check in. Check in. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. Hey, hey, watch this. Watch this. First and ten, it's far. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and this is scooped up by the Lions. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. So it's a turnover there on the lost fumble, and this third quarter could not really have started worse. I think that's a great observation because this was a close game at the half. They gave up the touchdown the opening drive. Now they turn over the football. This game, they can get away from pretty quickly if their defense doesn't step up right here. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams, 53 yards. And the Lions have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. From the shotgun, it's far. Caught on the right side by Jones. Only able to gain a couple there. And now it's third and three. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He hits Adams complete. 20. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, Gardner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four-down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, 
If we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. try and run for it and he is not going anywhere they stop him for no gain the run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two and the lion defense able to come up there with a goal line stand the lions offense ready to kick off their next drive well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was... The He's got a man complete! Pass the 20! And in for the Lions, touchdown! Matthew Stafford does it again. Five touchdown passes. And the Lions get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. So how about that for a backbreaker? Again, 99 yards. And how about the audacity of the play call? When you're backed up that close to your goal line, usually you're just trying to run some type of a wedge play, a quarterback sneak, a dive, anything to try and create some room and take care of the ball. But that's confidence in your offensive line that they'll protect the guy throwing it, and he finds his guy for 99 yards. I love what they just did. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. on third down five out of nine thus far this is going to be third and 13 out of the gun they'll look to throw Got his man complete over the middle. It's Schultz. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Green. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. 
Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. He'll look to throw. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. This has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Now a handoff up the middle. It's green, and he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Back to throw. Got his man. It's driver complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 32-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try to left side. It's green. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A great effort there. 32 yards. And the Packers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Lambeau to add on the extra point. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but They've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. 
After the run, now Stafford going to throw. They'll find Williams on the slant. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Room here to run. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. Jamison Williams, 40 yards. And the Lions extend their fourth quarter lead, and they are closing in now on a 14-win campaign. So the touchdown there, and that play, the tap pass, so simple, Charles, on the face of it, but what makes it so difficult for defenses to stop? I think it's the precision and the quickness in which the play occurs because the snap gets to the quarterback. He's essentially playing volleyball with it, just immediately just shoveling it forward. And when that receiver is at a full head of steam, if you don't take the edge away, he's got a chance to get to the corner and get upfield. But if you take the edge away, that's your chance to disrupt that play. And no disruption there, that's for sure, as it winds up six points. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. From the gun, it's far. That's complete to Sharp. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 27 yards there, a first down. Up the middle, Jones. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They're going on fourth down. It's far. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. Again, he'll drop to throw. 
Over the middle, complete. It's Adams. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. and then finally they get the running game involved and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet. But you and I both know and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. the touchdown he'll kick this one away this fielded right at the goal line and beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 the Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive and they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. It certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Throwing here, Stafford. He's airing it out for Williams. And got his man complete. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams, 71 yards. And the Lions have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder, what's their motivation? Because if it's me... I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit, but for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared, 
but executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for Detroit, they get yet another victory to finish the year at 14-3 overall. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Packers, it will indeed be a 10-loss season as they wrap up 7-10. And, and I think you have to say, ultimately, this was a team that really underachieved. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. Six, four, 